Hello everyone, my name is Ina. And what is your name, my camera name, guy? My name is Raed. Welcome to our channel, uh, Cooking with Red and Ina. Today we'll be making for you uh, a Middle Eastern dish called Mulukia. It consists of jute plant, uh, which is very, very good for you. It is good for your skin, it's good for your digestive system, has a lot of fiber in it and it has a lot of nutrients and benefits for your health and your body. But um, the components are jute plant, which actually we put it aside over there, but it looks like this. It looks a little gooey, but once it's mixed with everything else, it's gonna be, it's like a soup that you eat with the rice. You will need onions. So we have one onion. We have about 10, or eight cloves of garlic. It doesn't really require that much, but our family is crazy about garlic, so we put a lot of garlic. Um, you'll need cilantro. You'll need coriander, which we already um, crushed it um, from the seeds. You will also need black pepper, salt. You'll need allspice. You can get it Middle Eastern store stores. You, I think you can also get it at regular grocery stores too. Then you have Ina spices. I'll list all the different spices that go in there. Well, you don't really need it, but we put it because we like it. Then you will need three cups of rice. I only put one here, but we have three cups of rice soaking. You'll need um, angel hair pasta. Uh, you need chicken stock really it's made with chicken but we don't like it with chicken so we just use chicken stock that's homemade chicken stock and olive oil and um, and we're gonna saute the onions until it get they get a little um, golden color I think we're good with the oil <clears throat> the pot is already hot so you'll hear this Ooh, sizzling bring the onions to a golden color and then we're gonna add garlic so as you can see the onion is getting a little color to it to the beautiful golden color uh, we're now gonna add only half of the garlic that I have in this contain in this little cup because we're gonna need some garlic at the end so I'm putting half of the gar uh, garlic in here which is about four cloves but you can use one or two or three whichever uh, depends how much garlic you guys like and I'm also gonna add spices to it so we can sweat the spices with the onion and garlic this is Ina spices and I'll give you a list of the spices that are included if um, you can add whichever ones you want and then allspice allspice is kind of a must it's part of the recipe you mix it up a little let it sweat a little bit for about a minute or so. So as you can see, it's getting nice gold color. I'm actually gonna also add some salt and pepper, which I uh, didn't add right away. So um, I'll say a half a teaspoon of pepper and probably about a teaspoon of salt for now or I'll say a teaspoon and a half um, and then we'll add salt later to taste if we need to so it's getting to be this perfect color where we can use our jute plant which actually jute plant uh, it's out of season so we're uh, bought jute leaves from Mediterranean store frozen so, oops, sorry. Put in jute plant in here. Mix it up. And I'm gonna add chicken stock now. So I have three cups of chicken stock. And actually, as far as jute plant, we'll tell you uh, how many. We put four bags in here um, that you'll see the pictures um, in the video. And now I'm adding chicken stock. This is homemade chicken stock. 
So we have four uh, bags of jute plant here, um, as it's called Malokia in um, Arabic. And uh, we put four cups of chicken stock. Um, I poured in three cups earlier and I poured one more off the camera. Sorry about that, but um, so we're gonna, we're gonna put it on medium heat for now because I need to prepare the rice. Um, and, and then once I get the rice set up, we'll turn it up a little to get it to boiling point. It's pretty easy. Also, um, something that's not part of the original recipe, but it's uh, the way my husband likes it. We actually t dice one tomato and we throw it in the soup as well um, to brighten up the soup a little in Molokia, but it's not part of the original recipe so you don't have to do it if you don't want to, uh, but it definitely has, um, makes it taste delicious. Okay, now we're getting ready to make our rice. Uh, for rice, you will need um, a stick of butter for three cups of rice. which, um, let me see, let me find my little spoon. So the butter will melt, and once the butter, butter melts, we'll put um, half a cup of angel hair in there and let it brown, get it to a brown color. Don't worry about a little bit of Molokia in there. It's all gonna go in one place. <laughs> Okay, so actually, as I was doing it, I was thinking maybe one stick of butter is too much, so I took half, uh, half of it out. I'm gonna add also a little bit of vegetable oil, um, like, a t like a tablespoon, and it's starting to sizzle, and that's when I'm gonna add uh, angel hair, and let it cook a little bit until it starts getting brown color. I'll, we'll show you guys what it looks like. If it was up to me, I would put a lot more of angel hair, but my husband doesn't like me to. So, <laughs> half a cup for three cups of rice. So as you can see, Malukia is starting to boil a little. While um, the angel hair is browning, I'm going to add cilantro to Malukia. It is part of the original recipe. I am not a fan of cilantro, so anybody who knows me will probably going to be saying, what? But I'm adding it because it's part of the original recipe and I'm trying to get used to cilantro more and more because my husband loves it and he's depriving himself of it because of me. <laughs> sure am. Uh, and it's very, very good for you. Cilantro is very good for you, I'm not arguing it, but it smells like soap to me. So we're, I said sauteing butter, but we're not, we can't saute butter. We're gonna saute garlic with olive oil, not butter. And coriander. And coriander. So forgive me for saying I'm gonna saute butter. That would be interesting to watch. So here we are putting garlic here. It's about four cloves of garlic, minced. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little more. And also one tablespoon of coriander seeds, also uh, crushed, which my husband crushed it. And we're gonna, what's the word you were saying? It's not sweating it. I was saying sweating, but I guess it's blooming. Blooming. Put some more oil? Yes. So I, I would say about three tablespoons of oil goes here, or two? Three, four. Three, four? Yeah. Actually, yeah. And of course the ingredients will be written down at the bottom of the video, so you guys will have everything written down. For how long? Until it starts getting blonde. Okay, come here. Come here, look at look at our angel hair. 
turning brown. Can you see it? Yeah. All this uh, froth is covering the brown, but it's turning brown. I'm going to do it a little longer because not all of it is brown yet. That's It's my favorite part of the rice. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, that garlic is, is turning a little bit of a brown color. We're almost ready to put it in molokia. We need to bring molokia to boil, which is the point it's at right now. So this is pretty much where we want it. Um, golden brown color. It is now ready to go into the molokia that's boiling. If you look here, slowly pour it. Yeah, it's ready to serve. Okay, we're now back at our pot with angel hairs. So they're all beautiful brown color. And I strained rice that was soaking soaking for the last 30 minutes or so. Three cups. Three cups of rice. And make sure we don't waste any rice. Mix the rice with the angel hairs Oops. really thoroughly. Make sure it's coated with all the butter that we put in here and oil. For about a minute or so, we're gonna keep mixing it like that so it's thoroughly coated. salt and pepper here, half a teaspoon of salt, and about two teaspoons of pepper. I'm sorry, <laughs> that was backwards. It was the other way around. Chris. Okay, so half a teaspoon of pepper and one and a half teaspoon of salt. Uh, you don't want to make it too salty because molokia is already salty. And we're adding chicken stock in our and we are gonna add chicken stock. Well, you don't have to use chicken stock. You can use um, veggie stock if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, or you can use regular water if you want to. Uh, we're using chicken stock because it's we yummy. like how it tastes. So it's three cups of rice and three cups of chicken stock, which is just enough because we did soak the rice previously. Mix it thoroughly and bring it to boil. Once it boils, um, you wait until all the water, water kind of boils out and when you don't see water anymore, you put it on low. Cool. Okay, so uh, Malukia is done and we turned it off already. It's still boiling a little bit uh, because the stove is hot, but we'll move it in, in a minute. So once it's done, you turn it off. Um, you, we add lemon to the soup. And um, we are adding only half a lemon because um, I prefer it without the lemon. So my husband adds more to his own plate later as well as salt and everything else that, well, not everything else, there's really just salt. Okay, so um, you can see the bubbles, right? The water is still there, but almost gone, but you see holes. Um, I'm gonna open just to show you. Usually you're not supposed to open, but I'm gonna show you. You can see where the bubbles are coming out. Those are the holes um, indicating that you can now put the rice on very low and it will need about 10 minutes, 15, 15. minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, our rice is ready. 
Look at how beautiful it looks. And I will, um, how do you call it? Fork it. Fork it. Fork it. I'm using a bigger fork. So you kind of go so like look, this. Look at this rice. See how it's all separating. Nice and fluffy. So I'm going to put this much rice. And then I'm gonna get more here and put okay on the side like that. This is how we eat it. Do you wanna try some honey with the rice? I guess I should have given you some rice. So basically, you kind of go. And now I'm gonna taste that delicious murukhiya. Murukhiya, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you're saying it like your wife says it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's really. Enough salt? Delicious, yes. Enough salt. It's very good. And that's how we make our murukhiya with, um, with jute plant. Thank you for watching our channel, Cooking with Red and Ina. We will write um, all the ingredients at the bottom of the video. Please feel free to um, give us your comments and tell us what you think and give us suggestions and likes and su subscribe, please. <laughs> subscribe, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.